This is the 2012 Mechanics paper for Level 2 Physics. Question 1, the trapeze. Jess is a trapeze artist in the circus. As part of her act, she hangs on a long rope and swings downwards. When she gets to the lowest point, she grabs onto Hannah, and they keep moving together. Jess has a mass of 65 kilograms. Hannah has a mass of 55 kilograms. Name the important quantity that is conserved as Jess swings down. Okay, well, uh, energy is the quantity. Again, we're trying to move through this quickly, so I won't dwell on these things, but uh, gravitational potential energy is converted to kinetic energy. The important quantity that is conserved as Jess grabs onto Hannah and they move together is momentum. Okay, so, uh, yeah, anyway, see, immediately after Jess grabs Hannah, they move together at a speed of 5.5 meters per second. This is a wee bit of a tricky one. Uh, we have to calculate the vertical height that just dropped down. So H equals question mark. Um, how you calculate this, I'll just go to the diagram here, is um, we uh, we have their kind of point, whoops, we have their point with the rope is here and they're both uh, on, I don't know how she's holding her, but that looks like she's holding her by the head. But we have the velocity afterwards. Now we don't know if it's a uh, elastic or inelastic collision, but we can use the idea of momentum. Remember, P equals M V. We know the mass after and the velocity after to find the momentum. Momentum after or final has to be the momentum initial over here. And um, since we know that Hannah's mass initially, uh, uh, or Hannah's Velocity initially is zero. That should be equal to um, the mass times velocity um, for for Jess, which is uh, just the mass of Jess and the velocity of Jess immediately before they collide. Now that velocity there has come purely from the kinetic energy. So the gravitational potential energy mgh um, should be equal to the half m v squared at the moment just before they collide which is that velocity right there. So we now know the velocity and the mass to find the total energy, and then we can use that to find um, the gravitational potential energy divided by the mass and gravity to find the height, which is what we're looking for. Okay, so let me just work through that as quickly as I can. So this is the final momentum of the two after the collision. And that equals, so it's the sum of their masses times the velocity of the combined group, and it's 660 kilogram meters per second. That equals the uh, initial velocity before the collision, which is just the velocity of Jess. And we'll calculate that now. So the same momentum, you divide that total momentum by the mass of just Jess this time, and you get 10.15. Uh, where are we? One five um, meters per second. I've written that four significant figures because we're using um, the full. Uh, we don't want to reduce, remove any of the accuracy of the answer because we have to use this value in further calculations. There's all the stages we're going through. So the next stage is to use the kinetic energy. Um, whoops, I'm not meant to draw that. The kinetic energy. So uh, half mv squared will be equal to mgh, which equals, uh, which we don't know yet. But when we, I'll calculate the left hand side. Now let's rearrange this. The height, because we can get rid of the masses, the height will be equal to half v squared divided by g. And that works out to be uh, 5.26 meters. That's the height that she's moved through. And you would round that probably to two significant figures because that's, yes, two significant figures is the least number of significant figures in the information given.